Hello everyone, I'm Taylor Bambico, and for today's gun video, I'm gonna talk about a relatively interesting 1911, the AMT Hardballer Long Slide. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna make sure this firearm is clear. Empty. Let's continue, shall we? So the AMT 1911s were the first all stainless steel pistols of their design at the time. AMT offered a few different models, the most notable ones of course being the 5 inch hardballer and the 7 inch long slide configuration. The 5 inch configuration has of course appeared in the Hitman video game series. Then of course the most widely known appearance for the 7 inch model was James Cameron's 1984 film The Terminator. Being the first all stainless steel 1911, there were issues with galling. This particular one seems to be a much later one where that issue was resolved. The most reoccurring issue with this particular firearm I have is the inability for the magazine to drop free each time. For the most part, this is basically what happens when I hit the magazine catch. Now you're wondering whether or not this is indeed a real laser. It is. but it's by no means practical. On the IMFDB website, they actually were discussing how the laser worked on this particular fire, and it was relatively interesting considering the time. How it was done on screen was there was a cable that connected to the laser, ran up Arnold's arm through his jacket, and he actually had the switch in his left hand. So in order to power the laser in that movie, there was a separate battery pack which was stored in the jacket that Arnold Schwarzenegger wore in the first half of the movie. In the tech noir scene, when he's aiming this at Sarah Connor, you can actually see Arnold clenching his left hand. More than likely, that's when he's actually squeezing the pressure switch to activate the laser. Fast forward several years, this laser is only powered by three little watch batteries. Or I should say was, because when I was filming it, the cable got in the way of the slide. And then yanked the cable out of the pressure switch. But I'm not too worried about that because for the most part, this is probably the last time the laser is ever going to be on the firearm. It actually makes it relatively difficult to shoot because I'm more or less used to just using the sights on and not relying on the laser. In fact, the first time I was actually shooting this with the laser, I didn't have it tightened down enough. The laser was sliding back and forth. I thought, okay, it's not meant to handle the recoil on this firearm. It wasn't until later I realized I could have tightened it down a bit more to prevent that. But as I said, I'm not going to rely on the laser on this firearm. It'll hit the target but it doesn't hit exactly where I'm aiming. Something I really don't like with the laser, of course, in order to clean the firearm, you have to remove the entire laser and grip panel, which is relatively simple, but it's more of a pain. Whereas when it's standard 1911, you don't have to worry about removing the grips unless you're going into a more thorough cleaning of the firearm. Now, of course, you get the laser on this particular firearm, a few parts had to be changed on it. The slide catch and the thumb safety are actually extended on this firearm. So instead of removing material off the mount, I decided to just find a standard thumb safety and a standard slide catch. This being an AMT, they pretty much were just dropping parts. Whereas I discussed in making the 1911 from Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which I'll link right here for you, most of those parts all had to be fitted by me to get them to work, whereas with this one, I just dropped them in. Which, more than likely, when I remove the laser, I'm going to reinstall the original slide catch and the original thumb safety just to bring it back to how it was when I first acquired it. So other than the inability to aim it relatively well with the laser and the magazines not dropping free, this gun is actually a very decent firearm considering what it is. Considering how loose the tolerances are on this gun, it is relatively accurate, more than likely due to the extra two inches on the barrel and the longer sight radius. It's definitely a gun anyone who's new to firearms can go out and shoot with ease. Of course, with 45, the price it is right now, you won't be shooting it as much. But overall, I definitely will probably not put the laser back on. I'll fix it, but I won't use it ever again. But who knows? I might change my mind. Well, anyway, that was my video on the Arcadia Machine and Tool Hardballer Long Slide. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell icon so you're notified when I upload new content. Leave any comments you have in the section below, and have a good day. See ya!